Coach will open it up with a statement, then we'll jump into questions. Yeah, excited to be back home again, get to play a really good Toledo team. They've done a fantastic job, a uh, very talented football team. Excited about the opportunity to play at home. Really need our fans to show up and show out. Should be a great game, great atmosphere. I know our guys will be excited to get back home and play a really good Toledo team. Uh, gain some momentum, uh, getting that first conference win against Middle Tennessee last week. Hopefully we can carry that into this home game. With that said, questions? I mean, I think obviously we're looking for an update on the quarterback situation. Will Caden be starting and, and what's TJ's status? Yeah, TJ's going to be out probably for several weeks. He has a lower leg injury, uh, so Caden will be, be the starter. Caden did a really good job, obviously, in the game. and. Looking for, forward to him continuing that momentum and, uh, you know, uh, feel bad for TJ because he was putting together some, some good games and had done a really good job for us. But hopefully we can get him back, you know, in, in a couple weeks or so. But uh, for right now, he'll be out for the next couple weeks. You know, with Kane being thrown into the game like that, you know, second time for him being thrown into the game and just, you know, falling out there, you know, how impressed were you with him? Being able just to go out there and spur the moment and, and do what he did. Also. Well, you know, it's really uh, doesn't surprise me one bit. Uh, he prepares extremely hard. He's a very confident player. Um, we've seen it in the past, obviously, at ODU with the bowl win. Uh, I talk to him all the time, as do all the quarterbacks, about be ready when it's your turn. And he, he always prepares like he's the starter. We knew going into the season we had two quality quarterbacks. And so when TJ went down, the expectation was for him to go out there and, and do what he did. So was not surprised by it, but happy for him. I think the, the team did a nice job of, of rallying around him and, and making him feel comfortable. We got to carry that momentum now into this game. You know, one game doesn't make a season. So, you know, he's going to have to go back out there again and, uh, you know, continue to lead this team. But no, no question in my mind he'll do that. We were very comfortable with him being the quarterback. And uh, looking forward to him going back out there and playing. Is Caden one of the, the those players though that uh, has an extra gear in games that maybe he doesn't even show in practice? I mean, uh, he's just put up incredible numbers in two extended appearances. You know what I see from Caden is there, there's really no fear in his eyes. He he doesn't seem to. Uh, feel, feels very comfortable when he runs out there. Both times in the bowl game and at Middle Tennessee. You know, it's tough for a quarterback to come off the bench. Sometimes you got to find your groove, get, you know, get, get in a rhythm. Uh, right out of the gate, he seems to always feel comfortable. So that's a good sign, you know, and he just needs to continue to, to do that. But again, he's a good leader for our football team. He's a confident player. Uh, he prepares well for each game. And uh, so again, I'm excited to, to see him, you know, have the opportunity to go lead our team at, at home. and. And uh, it's going to take everything we got against Toledo. They're a good football team, and good quarterback play is going to be needed in this game. And, and I know he'll provide that for us. You know, you've extended the streak of scoreless quarters to six uh, against the middle this past weekend. You know, coming up against a big offensive team like Toledo, what, how important are they going to be in this game? Well, you know, it was huge. You know, I always say defense leads the way. And, uh, you know, I was really proud of our defense. In the first half of the game, I really think the, the couple of those red zone stops and goal line stops in the first half was huge momentum changes for us. Who knows how the game would have gone if, if we hadn't had stopped them down there. Um, so, you know, defensively, we will have a big challenge. They got some really good skill players. Quarterback's a good player. Um, you know, the offense coordinator does a great job of, of putting his players in good position to make plays. Uh, but it should be a good matchup. I know our guys will be excited to, to play, and we're going to need the, the defense to, to really hold them down. And, and offensively, we got to go out there and, and, and score points. You know, we're, we're, we're facing a good offense in Toledo, and, and they, they're going to they're gonna find a way to, to, to score, you know, like any good offenses do. But uh, that's, we offensively got to match that and defensively and critical downs mainly, you know, we got to be able to get off the field or create turnovers. But our defense plays with a lot of confidence. Um, looking forward to those guys pl playing against Toledo this week. Any players on Toledo's roster that um, kind of jump out to you that you guys need to 
trying to contain or neutralize? Well, I think for for their defense, their front four is very good. Um, big physical bunch, you know. Uh, they don't have to load the box or bring a lot of pressures. You know, they can keep a six-man box and really hold things down in there. Um, you know, big physical D-line. They, they're good in the secondary. They run well. Um, you know, they're, they're overall a good defense. They do a nice job. Offensively, they have a lot of weapons. You know, the receivers, number one, number two for them are explosive players. Quarterback is a good player. Um, you know, he could run, he can throw, they can do a lot of different things with him. They got three running backs that are that are all a little unique, but they're all really quality players. They, they run the ball extremely well. And the offensive line, you know, really does a nice job. Very, very gritty bunch. So um, they're a very, very much a complete football team. Um, but, you know, again, these are the games you want to play at home. You know, if you want to, if you want to, be a, a conference champion, you're going to play a conference champion from the MAC conference. So we got to go out there and, and match their intensity and, and, and find a way to win this game. All right, is this, a, do you kind of see this as a measuring stick, not only for your program against one of the better teams in a, a rival G5, but kind of for Conference USA as a whole? Too? I think, no, I, I don't view it that way. I think for the fans and, and perception, it may be viewed that way. For us, every game is unique, and, and every game is a measuring stick for us. Every game is a test. You know, we, we put in a lot of work during the week, and then, you know, you're tested on, on the Saturday when you play. So this game is just another test for us to see where we are as a team. Uh, a season is a marathon. It's not a sprint, and one game does not make a season. But it, when you face a really good opponent like Toledo that's had success and continues to be a good football team, you know, you, you come home, you get a big win, it says a lot about who you are as a football team as well. But uh, win or loss does not make or break a season, but this, you, this particular game will be unique in, in us continuing a win streak. You know, we're, we're one, two in a row, and we'd like to make it three in a row and keep that momentum going. I kind of wanted to backtrack this a little bit. Can you kind of explain um, at the end of the MTSU game with the fumble on fourth down into the end zone, you recover it, but then it turned into a first and one? And, uh, what, what is yeah, that? so they, uh, for what the official said was he actually, he had made the first, had fumbled prior to going into the end zone. Um, so what had happened was, you know, they just said, hey, it's, it's you did, because of where the fumble occurred at, um, you know, it's kind of a unique situation, but they said, "Hey, it's it's going to be first down." At the, and I really didn't care. I, I was, we were just trying to do the right thing. That's why we took a knee right there at the end. You know, uh, have a lot of respect for Middle Tennessee, but at the same time, we wanted to get some of our back backup players some playing experience. Didn't want to throw the football, but you know, so we we ran it. Um, so it was kind of a unique deal, but. Um, it worked out at the end, so I, I, I was really happy about it. Just back to Kane for a minute, too. Um, obviously, Toledo is going to know he's going to be starting this game, so then we'll be able to prepare specifically for him. How much does it help to know exactly who's going to be starting? Does it help at all? Does it help a lot? For them or for us? For uh, it helps, yeah. It helps you know, to know what you're, who's the guy and who you're facing. Um, I don't think much changes for them defensively. I think they're they're facing a uh, a similar player. You know, TJ is a is a good good quarterback, and so is Caden. And what we do offensively, um, and what they do defensively, I don't think it's really going to matter who the quarterback is. Um, you know, so I, I would suspect you know it's it's a to know who's playing quarterback is a good thing, but at the same time, I don't see them changing what they do just because Caden's a quarterback. All right, guys, thank you. Appreciate it.